So I have here the two uh, lower sections of the solid rocket boosters that we just assembled. And um, you'll notice that there is a green putty now applied to the seams on these. And um, you'll also notice that there are a number of horizontal ridges that we're going to have to deal with um, in making this look like it's supposed to look on both sides. So I started that work uh, on the other side and I'm using two things. I'm using a, a sanding stick, a medium grade sanding stick and with that I can, and some water, I can get into some of these flatter areas. But this doesn't really allow me to get up close to these ridges and so for that I'm having to use something a little more aggressive. This is one of the micro files that I talked about before. This is a square edge one and with this I can get in um, very very close and carefully to these little horizontal ridges. So I have to take care of that with these like so and then I can come back with the sanding stick and get the larger flat areas. gets a little dirty like this okay just take some paper towel rub it off kind of see what you got to work with and continue and we'll go around this entire lower edge of this booster on both sides on both boosters and clean up all these seams. The boosters are done, or the lower part of the boosters are done and um, as I was telling you before the squadron green putty you can see much more readily on the white plastic than the white putty that I had before. And we won't really know for sure if we have all this work done really well until this whole thing is primed. But for now, we'll set them aside. And uh, now we have kind of a fun section to do, uh, which is which is the wings and the tail. And so um, it gives us an opportunity to use several different types of glue again. So I'm going to start out with the trusty tube. And we're going to put a little drop on the locating pin here. And here and here. All right, that's all we get. And then we have the thicker to me a liquid. And I'm only going to put that on uh, this flat flap aileron surface down here. Put these together. Starting at the back. That one lined up. That pin is in there. And that's all good. Alright. Now for this assembly. I'm going to use uh, something called Tanex 7R. Uh, this operates, uh, works a little bit quicker than the Tamiya Extra Thin. Doesn't give you as much working time, but I think it's a little bit stronger. And there's not a whole lot of <clears throat> attaching um, pressure points on this wing, so I just want to use something a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go along, I'm starting with the, with the um, flap here, put this in here. And this dries really fast, but it's pretty strong. Squeeze those together. While I'm at it, run right through here. OK, 
can see how it melts the plastic here. It's kind of what you want. Just right, right along this edge. Get a little squeeze. Now from about here on to the front, there's only one little locating pin that's holding this together. So you want something strong in terms of liquid glue to work on that seam. This front area is kind of weak. I'm actually going to come back in here with this uh, stronger liquid and see if I can just throw some here on the inside. In fact, I have another product called Plastruck, which is very strong. It's got a longer applicator. So I'm going to bring this in here as well. Try to get some down in there. Alright, so we're done with this wing. You see it didn't it just takes the little little TLC here. You see any gaps? You go back. I see one in here. So, this should be okay. Now let's go do the other wing like that. And while I'm at it here, we're going to do this tail. And testers drop on each pin. Looks to me like there's only two. Guess two's enough. Oh, let's see. A little bit of the thicker solvent. I'll lay around this edge here a little bit. There we 
go. Now just come around this edge the same way with the uh, 10x I did before. And again, then I'll get the other wing done, and then we'll put them on the main orbital body.